Hey everyone, several people have asked about building a completely um, kind of storm proof, electrical proof, um, power out of outage proof um, battery backup sump pump system. And so I wanted to show uh, what I've come up with here and uh, maybe give you some ideas for a project that you guys might be working on. Now this, this is just showing what it can do for sump pumps, but this same setup could be used for any uh, critical electrical device that needs to run. Um, this is primarily geared towards higher amp load or higher higher wattage devices, um, but that would it would work for anything: pumps, uh, fans, blowers, anything that needs to run, um, even if the power is out at your house. Um, the reason I built this is just for worry-free. Uh, we end up getting a lot of water in our sump basin uh, when it rains hard and when the snow melts in the spring. So uh, just doing uh, two sump pumps wasn't enough for me. Uh, originally I had a Wayne battery backup powered sump pump. Actually here's the box originally from it. But I had a lot of problems with that. And I also found that that pump was just very cheaply made. It was made out of plastic and it could not handle the amount of flow, amount of water flow that we get in our sump pit in the um, early spring. So I never could sleep well at night knowing that, you know, if the power went off in the middle of the night, um, what would happen? You know, I, I would hate to wake up in the middle of the night um, with a flooded basement. So when we decided to finish our basement, we then decided to um, make something that would uh, be completely safe and um, and bulletproof for those types of situations. So let me step you through what I have done. And again, the, the concept here is redundancy. Everything here is redundant. So not only do I have two, two separate um, electric power feeds coming down in, powering um, two separate pumps, but you'll notice that I also have two completely isolated pumps, um, both at the pump themselves and up through all the way to the outside. So if any component breaks, there's always a redundant system in place. Um, I also want to note that these two breakers um, the, these two power lines are also separate circuits coming from separate panels too. One panel, um, this panel is coming from a sub panel in the basement. This panel is uh, the original panel out in our garage. So anyway, what I'm saying here is everything here is redundant. Um, and I just wanted to go through the extra effort uh, when we set this up so that I, I wouldn't ever have to worry anymore. So this setup has been running a little over a year now uh, with zero issues. And it will actually operate this, these, this pump um, full time for well over a day, um, even constantly uh, without it even shutting off. So I, uh, I'm very happy that we did it. And overall cost of the project was very reasonable. I'd say less than $200 to do um, all of these items here. The most expensive part is actually the, the batteries that I'll show you. But the key point here is the pumps themselves. So these pumps, sorry, it's very difficult to see, but these pumps are both um, typical AC pumps. I think mine are, um, oh, I, I can't remember which, which brand they are now. I think somewhere out of, uh, Rochester, New York, but <clears throat> they are um, both heavy duty uh, residential pumps. Um, both are three quarter horsepower. And this setup here has, has no concern pushing them at all. So it's, it's worth noting that the, the first pump, the main pump is powered by this circuit here. And that's just a primary um, line voltage. And if the power goes out to the house, that line also goes out. So that's when this circuit over here becomes important. So obviously the line coming down through, when the power is on, it is coming uh, out of that and going through a battery tender, going down in and charging two, I have two 100 amp, um, in this case they're Trojan uh, deep cycle battery. You don't need to go with such a fancy battery, but um, it, uh, it is worth it. They will last a very long time if you spend the money up front. Um, I also, though, in parallel to that, you'll see, again, power's coming out of that and going through a, a trickle charger to keep the batteries topped off. But also, there's power coming out of the circuit and into this transfer switch. And what this transfer switch does is when, there, when there's power at the circuit, at the, at the outlet, power will flow through and then back out into this outlet and come down through and power the pump. So now, even if this pump on the right fails for some reason, this pump on the left will run off of normal line power if power is present. However, if, if this line power fails, this transfer switch will flip and pull power from this inverter. 
So then you'll have battery power coming from here up through this fuse. Fuses are important, especially dealing with this kind of amperage. Going through this inverter and then into this transfer switch and then over into the outlet. So finally, the pump still sees 110 volts, uh, whether it's coming from the, the line voltage or from uh, the inverters. So the pump operates like normal. And that way you can buy uh, a really good pump and you're not limited to a small 12 volt pump that most of these backup systems provide. So I will leave um, part numbers and descriptions down below. Um, feel free to check out the links if you want any of these components. But um, the key point is this inverter here, uh, this stays on all the time, but it doesn't actually run unless uh, the, the transfer switch is, is actually triggered. So as soon as the breaker is switched, um, this transfer switch will, will flip and, or, or if the power goes out, the breaker will, or the transfer switch will, will flip and then start powering this outlet from the batteries themselves. So anyways, give these some thoughts. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. And if you like this kind of project, I have several other uh, similar projects I'd like to share in the future. Um, a project out, outside as well as some other electronic projects similar to this. And I can also show you, I previously made a custom sump pump controller uh, using Arduinos. I'll show that project as well. So feel free to like and subscribe uh, and uh, stay with me for future projects. All right, thank you very much.